into scheduling a call. This is where I would like for this gentleman to go. Uh, Thursday the 12th, right about 9 o'clock p.m. Well, let's hear the call. Hey, Mike Shelley, this is Nick at Pit Boss. Um, is, the, is the general manager available? Yeah, just a moment. Thank you. Check the note for him on hold. The manager must get the work order signed by the MLB. set where you want it, you can confirm right here at Thursday the 12th at 9 p.m. We want to go ahead and make sure we fill in all these custom fields. So we did speak with Sam at 2.34 p.m. Um, this was scheduled by the author, or by Nick. And it was scheduled on, mine says 12.1, but I went back in time. So let's just say it was 12.9. Um, Scheduling notes, anything pertinent that he had told us to remember, I didn't really hear anything, but um, that was fine. Form of scheduling communication was a phone call. Emergency contact wasn't needed because we were going to be there um, this week. Original work order date, no, because we um, this is our first time scheduling it. Uh, kitchen open time, we usually know that those guys get in at about 5 a.m. Service follow cup will be due at done after the service. This is not a mall. This, they do not need security and they don't have horizontal ductwork. This is a quarterly account. Key alarm code is not necessary with this one. Um, we're going to call Cracker Barrels a yellow route reference. Hard, medium, and easy. Um, updated time and frequency does it automatically. If they have reminder notes. This is when we call them on the day of. Um, we did notice that note that seemed pertinent, so we, we're going to add that to this work order as well. We must get the work order signed. So we'll go back here to that one work order. And Ben Brook. And if we come back over to our schedule and refresh that page. You will notice that we have successfully added that cracker barrel where we wanted it. Thank you. <laughs> 